Altitude 32 kilometers, speed 1 kilometer per second, downrange distance 13 kilometers. Eddie coming back, shows vehicle on course, on track. Denied. Most 
of the prompt gamma radiation is deposited between 25 and 30 kilometers altitude. Our mission as the Civilian Space Exploration Team is to be the first civilian team in history to launch a rocket that reaches space. All systems are go for launch. You might have 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But then you post a picture like the Chicago skyline, and everybody's like, well, that just looks like Photoshop. They don't question the crap coming out of NASA where they can't even get scale or color right, and they're always using the same cloud covers. I mean, look how big the United States of America is on this globe compared to this globe. And both of these are official NASA photographs. Now, I had some guy on YouTube go off of me because I posted this saying what I'm saying now. And he's like, oh, just because some flat earther can put together some composite images like that, that doesn't prove anything. I'm like, uh, no, do like five minutes of research, buddy, before you make comments like that, showing just how ignorant you are by condemning without investigating. These are actual NASA photographs, which I put right here on my blog, quoting from them. You can click on the space.com website, space.com, go to their own photo gallery, click on it, the picture number four, and see the pictures for yourself. If you took a minute to actually investigate before condemning the NASA website, same thing, you know, the, the, the other picture right here, taken April 22nd, 2014 on Earth Day, you know, NASA website, click on their website, go to their own pictures, look through them, pick their pictures, look through it, you know, because that's what I did. You know, take a minute to do some research before you go out there condemning people who actually do the research. Right? NASA, this is not some flat earther, you know, putting this stuff together to try to discredit NASA. They do a good job of discrediting themselves. They don't need flat earthers help. So if you're going to question, you know, some guy who's just out there, you know, taking nice pictures, you know, he's out there taking pictures. Here's another video that he took. Time lapse, looking toward Chicago from the top of a dune in Warren Dunes State Park, April 29th, 2015. So just, you know, a couple weeks ago. The last few seconds are the most interesting part. Be sure to click on the HD button. Uh, I don't see an HD button, so... So, you know, the atmosphere is changing here. This is a time-lapse photo, 60 miles away. You're not supposed to be able to see this. Look at that. City of Chicago from 60 miles away. And yet some knucklehead drone is going to read a prompter that's telling him to explain this as a mirage.
These are photographs taken by a guy named Joshua Nowicki, right? Right on his website. Um, here are some more of his pictures. You can check out for yourself, you know? Look at them. Chicago. That doesn't look like a mirage to me. The buildings also are not leaning off to the sides or leaning away from you. They're perfectly straight up and down. You know, if, if this is a mirage, I mean, first of all, it'd be all distorted and wavy and look totally weird. If we really are on a globe, then they should be like facing away from you, <coughs> leaning away, not perfect straight up and down. They should be leaning side to side. They shouldn't look like that. You know, based on my own tests that, that I've been doing, I believe this guy. I think that that's really Chicago. I got a friend of mine, Rick Hummer. He says, you know, he's seen it too. He's looked out over the, you know, the horizon there and seen Chicago from where he lives in this general area. He said, you know, I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for a nice clear day. I'm going to set the camera up so I can see it, you know, from this distance. And I'm just going to take a boat right across and just drive it all the way there and, and watch, you know, the city get bigger and bigger and bigger, you know. Not all of a sudden, magically, the mirage goes away and then the city pops up over the horizon. Do the test for yourself, people. And that turns out to be about 3,100 miles. And if you were going to try and hide this information that the sun is actually very close, perhaps you'd uh, encode it in symbol. Does this look familiar? There are quite a few videos like this one where people send up their video cameras on weather balloons. One thing to note is where you can see a hot spot on the clouds directly under the sun, like here. You see it? Directly under the sun is a hot spot. Now, that would be impossible if the sun was 93 million miles away. But also note how the sun appears to move with the earth. As the camera rocks about, you'll see the sun moving around with the earth. Now again, if the sun was 93 million miles away, you wouldn't see that. Just like if you were on a speeding train, the trees next to the track will whiz past you. But the mountains in the distance would, well, they'd hardly move. And if the sun was behind those mountains, the sun wouldn't move at all. So, just like in this diagram, you can see there's a sun a long, long way off and a sun that's directly above the kind of landscape. And as the camera is simulated to move here, you can see that the closer sun is moving with the, the simulated Earth here. But the one further away moves as if it was further away. You can see it hardly moves in relation to the Earth. Again, that's not what we see in these videos. The sun appears to be directly above the flat Earth. In the flat Earth model, the sun rotates around us and only appears to rise and set because of the way our vision works. We see in perspective. That is, the horizon is at our eye level. And as things recede from us, they tend to converge to the centre of that horizon line, to a place that's known as the vanishing point. Just as if you were standing at the end of a very long corridor, you would see that the walls would appear to converge. The floor would appear to rise up to meet the horizon. And the ceiling would also appear to move downwards. Of course, the walls and, and the ceiling are all parallel to each other, so they don't actually move anywhere, but it would just appear that way. And anything that lies beyond the vanishing point is effectively invisible to us. It's beyond the limit of our vision. The clouds... Hey, get back, Mark. What is the end of the void? Look at here! Ich sehe es. Guck mal, siehst du es? Da geht hinter der Sonne. Ey, der eine geht hinter der Sonne. Das ist ja krass. 
Kiss es? Hast es? Ey, was ist das für ein heilige Scheiße, ey? Ey, Alter. Hä? Hast du es gesehen? Ich hab's gesehen! 